Sequestration has been triggered, which means the Army is going to see less money for family support programs, soldier training, and readiness. Officials at Fort Bragg, North Carolina, have already been preparing and planning for sequestration. 18th Airborne Corps and Fort Bragg Chief of Public Affairs, Colonel Kevin Arata, says the impact of sequestration will not be felt right away. It's not like flipping off a light switch where immediately today, because it's March 1st, uh, we start feeling a reduction. It's kind of like, uh, as General Allen, uh, the commanding general, uses an example, it's the, the sun setting. Uh, and so you're going to see it as it slowly goes down, you're going to start to see some changes gradually. Uh, so by the end of the fiscal year, uh, should we expect to see a detriment in readiness level, perhaps? Uh, closer in, not so much. Some of the cuts the Army is facing is a 20% cut in civilian workforce hours, which means one day a week, an Army civilian will not be at his or her place of employment. Army officials are working to mitigate the effects these cuts will have on family programs such as child development centers and after-school programs. In other words, it's most likely that these programs will see reduced hours in their operations. Training under sequestration will be curtailed for about 80% of the Army's ground forces, but there will be exceptions for those units who are on no notice 24-7 standby. From a GRF, a Global Readiness Force perspective, the folks here, the service members here who are on the Global Re Response Force mission uh, will maintain the same priority as do deployed forces, so they won't be affected. People that are on the GRF mission, service members on the GRF mission, will maintain the same level of training and standards as they have before.